So I'm going to pull this across and show you something. These veins, you can see here, they're rubbing on the bottom. They're too long for this particular window. Okay, so the first thing about trimming these veins, we need to do is actually mark them, okay? Now, how do you do that? There's not really a, a, a way to do that. So what we did is that we created a little tool to mark it. And what we did is I took an old slat, old vein, I mean, and you can tell, see, I, I, put a, I put a screw through it. I drilled a screw right into it. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the edge of that screw to mark it so you could literally adjust it to how much you need to cut off. Now I know you see the little edge of the of the screw itself right there. That's that's gonna, that's the one that sticks out the most. That's going to um, mark it, not this side, but the very edge of it. So I only need to go about three sixteenths of an inch to trim here. So I'm gonna take it to about right there. And that's where we're gonna do our mark. So let me show how to do that, okay? Um, what we do is we take the inside of the, the vein and we're gonna just slide this across. If you can see, it marks it. So is that enough? It looks like it's gonna be enough. So, and then you go to the next one. Just mark each one so you can see where you're cutting. This is a really quick way to, to cut. Okay. There you go, okay. So I've marked every single one of these veins. Now we're gonna cut them. How do we cut them? Um, don't use a razor blade. I've seen maintenance guys do that. I know they say they can do them, but they, it comes jagged and messed up and everything else. The way that you could cut them on the job, you can use either a, a pair of tin snips or a pair of good scissors. This is a pair of good scissors. <laughs> Actually, they're not. It's just a pair of scissors from Lowe's. Um, it's a cobalt brand. Um, you can probably pick up any scissors anywhere, really, but just a nice, good pair of strong scissors, okay? So let's check this out. Just make sure you stay straight, because if you don't stay straight, you don't have a good eye. That's why I have my glasses on. Okay, so if you could see, all these veins no longer rub on the bottom of the window. So it's a custom cut, you know, cut in or whatever you want to call it, cut down for the vertical blind veins, okay? Um, if you can do a close-up here, you can see they're not rubbing anymore. Please like our video, subscribe to our channel, and select the alert notification so that way you guys can see any new how-to videos we have coming out. Thank you.